400,000 people have fled the town of Goma as fears over another volcanic eruption grow in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mass evacuations were underway after 10 neighborhoods in the city were told to evacuate. The volcano that erupted Saturday killed dozens of people and could erupt again at any moment. More than 100 earthquakes have shaken the area. Toxic ash is in the air and there is also the threat of gas exploding underneath a nearby lake. Scientists call the disaster unprecedented. Well, Larry Mado has been covering the unfolding disaster and filed this report. A state of chaos and panic as people flee the city of Goma following what scientists call an unprecedented situation. Residents of 10 neighborhoods evacuate their homes with only what they can carry. Mattresses, essential items, and little else. Hundreds of thousands hit the road on Thursday, according to aid agencies. They said our houses could collapse because of the earthquakes, so we're leaving because we're afraid. A crack already appeared under my bed. What sounds like a description of an apocalypse is a reality facing this part of Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. The eruption from Mount Niragongo on Saturday puts them in the high-risk path of lava flow or a catastrophic implosion from magma underground. An increase in earthquakes has led to fear of a second eruption. This is the scramble to leave the danger zone of Goma. Thousands of people using every mode of transport available to them to try to get to the safety zone in Sake. We're about eight miles out and traffic is backed up all the way. More people trying to cross the border into the safety of neighboring Rwanda. UNICEF projects that up to 280,000 children could be displaced in the aftermath of the volcanic eruption. This mother of six tells me she's left everything behind, except her kids. It's all in the hands of God, she says. The Congolese government in Kinshasa says the priority is the preservation of human life. But the crowded evacuation routes leads to small towns like Sake. They're hardly prepared for the influx of internally displaced people. Aline Mugisha prepares a small dinner for her three children outside a church, but worries about where their next meal will come from. We don't have the means to take care of ourselves. There's limited food, we are sleeping on the floor, and we are suffering too much. The latest eruption that killed dozens and displaced tens of thousands puts indescribable stress on an already worn down population. The Norwegian Refugee Council, a leading humanitarian organization, says the DRC is the world's most neglected displacement crisis in 2020. It has the richest mineral base on earth, this country, but the people living on top of this mineral reservoir are among the poorest people in the world and the most neglected. The city of Goma emptied into the night as panic spread. Many who had yet to reach their final destination slept rough on the streets anxious about a potential disaster. Well, Larry's just outside the city of Goma and he joins us now. Um, Larry, these mass evacuations, where are people going? So, Becky, people are being sent east about 25 kilometers from here to Sake, which is what you've seen in that package. But there's no plan for them. There's no camp. There's nowhere to hold all these people who are going there. The local government here telling us that ab about 400,000 people have left the city into some of them to Sake, some of them to Rwanda and others. We're standing on the foot of Mount Niragongo. This is what led to this entire crisis. What you see at the back there is there seems to be some smoke coming out of the crater again. And the local governor has told us that the crater appears to be expanding. That's one danger, another eruption. The second one, Becky, is what you see here. This is that lava that swept through this wooded area and has now cooled off its igneous rock. But it is still in a state where some of it is still... All right, this is quite dangerous. It kind of breaks like charcoal. It, 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 it feels like charcoal. But the seismic activity that has been observed from the Goma Volcanic Observatory says the magma underneath there's a possibility that it could implode without warning. So that covers parts of the city of Goma, but also the neighboring Lake Kivu. That's why they, they gave this mandatory but preventative order for people to evacuate, because they're just afraid that if something happened without warning, like the eruption on Saturday, hundreds of thousands of people would be in the direct path of this one of the most active, one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the entire world. And if you want to understand, Becky, how serious this is, if you look to this other side, this used to be a major highway connecting two main provinces in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. 
that got wiped out entirely. They're only trying to rebuild it right now, but it looks like there was no tarmac here, even though there was. That is a danger, and that is why the government is trying to get people out of harm's way as quickly as possible. So you spoke to Jan Egland in the past couple of days. You made some, you know, uh, uh, underline just how uh, difficult, dangerous things are uh, for people uh, in the region. I mean, w what is the solution here at this point, long term? I mean, clearly there is a, you know, this is a very uh, a short term issue and people are, are, are getting displaced as a result of it. But what's the long term solution here? So that's a complicated question, Becky, because there, it, there's no simple answer for it. Part of it is that this mm. eastern part of the DRC already has a lot of problems. Banditry, armed conflict, disease outbreaks. There is just so much suffering already in this part of the world. The displacement crisis is about 6,000 people almost every day. That is what the Norwegian Refugee Council says this is the most neglected mm. displacement crisis in the world. On top of that, they live in the path of an active volcano, which could erupt at any time and sweep their entire lives there are still 40 people missing from this last eruption. There are 280,000 children who risk getting displaced if it erupts again. There are something like 80,000 homes, 80,000 households that have had to leave because of this impending danger. So the solution is complicated. Some have said there's need to move the city further away. There's need for a better warning system. And there, sh there used to be a warning system. There's a Goma Volcanic Observatory, but then it lost funding after a corruption scandal. And so they were just not able to do regular checks and warn people well in advance. So if you walk around the city, there are flags to indicate the alert level. And it's been red since the volcanic eruption, but they just don't know when the next one could be coming. Mm. Larry, it's a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Um, important stuff.